Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a absolutely soaking wet Ferry Carrick Park for tonight's SSC or Tristy Men's First Division match between Wexford FC and Treaty United. Winch Quinn's picking up as well. I think Storm yeah. and Kathleen has arrived, maybe. Good header there from Fionn Doherty. Just never quite looked like he was wrapping his head around it, though. Run at Robbie O'Toole or, or to run into free space, and it's something Treaty are going to going to have to sharpen up. Yeah. Here's Hanrat, he runs through the centre. Another player with a good option. Didn't take a touch, just floats the shot over the bar. Good effort though from Hanratty. Corbally. To O'Malley. Does get a cross in, finds Rowan space, turns, flicks. Huge deflection, but it's away and wide. Main just easing off for the moment. Looking for a Lou at the far post, but it'll come away to Hanratty. Back into the mix. Lines up for the strike for Rowe. Good save by Dyke. That was solid from the keeper. To Alua. Does find Dobbs this time. And Caelan Harnett can again play it into that channel for Thomas Alua through on goal. Off the post and away. Another big chance from Alua breaking off left. Linking up with Harnett. Dyke must have got a touch to it. It was so close to an OG, to be honest. Floats across the six yard box as well. Flicked on now though for Caelan Harnett. Will Wexford go straight on the attack? Caelan Harnett's bursting through on goal. 16 year old on the 17 year old keeper. Caelan Harnett. Super save from the keeper. Yeah, what a fantastic save. And Thomas Alou was just getting up there with him. But you know what? I, I couldn't couldn't blame Caelan there. You know, it was a chance there for his well, first senior goal and to, to get one back in. Yeah, he'll keep it in play. Webb sends it across. It's dipping actually, it's making life very difficult. It's coming off the post, deflected off the line, and this time it has gone over the line and away for a corner. Again, it was allowed to spin off them, but the ball was just overhit as Keenan Malley launches one in, a dangerous bounce there. Ethan Boyle on the edge of the box, and it's deflected in off Mikey Rowe. Ethan Boyle has broken the deadlock. It might have got a touch on the way through, I think it did. Ethan Boyle is certainly going to be claiming it. They had an awful lot of pressure in this game so far, and Ethan Boyle has done it. Bray currently leading by goal till against Athlone, but we continue here. Mark Hanrat, he floats a great ball across to Thomas Alua. High and wide, big, big chance there for Alua. Look, when you start the game, you know, in that fashion, it, it, it is kind of quite hard to kind of get back into the fray of things as chance here for Dara Levingston has found his way through and he looks to square it there too Kean Corbally with the finish they're going to be appealing for an offside decision that's a controversial one I think it's certainly Corbally with the finish putting the game to bed it was broke very kindly for Dara Levingston the treaty fans I'm sure over in the stand will be fuming with that the players certainly were making their appeals there too you know, in, in previous games and even going back to last season where those patches where the other team gets on top, um, as Yo-Yo Maddy takes a free kick here and it's a fantastic oh, free kick. Oh, what a goal from Yo-Yo Maddy. Wow, wow, wow. Absolutely superb free kick there. Just as we were talking about the Wexfords, um, I suppose surviving the onslaught, Yo-Yo Maddy just sticks one into the far corner there and Treaty, I suppose, they've... they've got a goal out of nothing you know just a piece of individual brilliance and their tails are going to be up as they're in behind here again and it's a fantastic ball across the box here and Mark Byrne coming so close just couldn't get a touch at the vital moment Yo-Yo Maddy heads it back in Treaty have gone level and it's Maddy on the double it's a little incident on the goal line but it won't matter it's been a huge response he's struggled he's had a tough game but Yo-Yo Maddy has brought it back all square. Ethan Boy lining up the throw. Wexford have come forward in numbers. Brandon will flick it on and it's in. And I think it's Kean Curtis with his first Wexford goal. You can put any predictions to bed. This one has defied them all. And it's Kean Curtis with a vital vital goal but there's still time left Mark anything can happen still yeah I'm not saying anything yet Ronan but we said when Owen Keane Curtis came onto the pitch you know could he kind of produce um, just a flick on there and, and Michael Dyke was, was unlucky there just kind of came at him a little bit too quickly but a 
absolutely. And that's the final whistle here tonight in Ferry Carrigan. Through that late goal from Kean Curtis that gives us our final score. It's Wexford who keep the three points here at Ferry Carrick. It's Wexford FC 3, Treaty United 2.